this man's name here is Eric. As you can see, his left hand is missing. I met Eric this past summer whenever I was in Africa for mission with my church. At the time that this happened to Eric, he was a children's pastor and he was the owner of a construction business. One day, Eric was building blocks with one of his co-workers and he had his hand down in the block making machine, scooping it out so they could start making some more blocks. And his co-worker, unaware of his hand being down in the machine, turned it on, the blades went around, and it nearly chopped Eric's arm clean off. So they rushed Eric to the hospital, trying to do what they could do to save his arm. But by the time that he gets there, there's nothing they can do to save him, they have to amputate his arm off. Eric is in the hospital for about two months after it happened to him. And as soon as he gets out, he goes to the person that cut his arm off, and he tells him that he forgives him. He gives him a hug, and he tells him that he loves him. Eric had a reason to be moved by that, to be moved off track in his course with God. But instead of letting that move him, he let the love of Christ move him to forgive and go on in his walk with God. Amen. And now, Eric is finishing through it all, and he will be able to say with Paul one day that he has finished. Just like how Paul says in Acts 20 24. But none of these things move me, neither do I see my life dear to myself, if only I may finish my course with joy in the ministry which I have obtained from, which is given to me by the Lord Jesus, faithfully to attest to the good news, the gospel of God's grace, his unmerited favor, spiritual blessing, and his mercy. And in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, it says, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race. And I have kept the faith. In order to finish well in your walk with God, number one, you cannot let things move you. When something doesn't go your way, when someone does something to you, you cannot let it move you off track. Amen. Number two, you have to be moved by the Savior. When He gives you blessings, when He blesses you with things, you have to let Him move you and only Him. Amen. God will keep you on track. People would knock you off track. Amen. And number three, you must be moved by the Savior to dream of what your finish line will look like. He will give you dreams and visions of your future so you will know what to do to complete your journey. That's right. After Eric got his hand chopped off, he had a reason to quit. But instead of being moved by worldly things and people and things of this world, he let Christ move him to finish what God has called him to do. Eric's going to finish in his race with God. But the real thing is, will you be able to say that you have finished when you're at the end of your race? For it to be true when you say it, you cannot let things move you. For it to be true when you say it, you must let Jesus Christ move you. For it to be true when you say it, you have to let Jesus Christ move you to dream of what your finish line looks like. So, for you, will you be able to say that you have finished? Awesome. Woo!